Hamas striking back, launching an endless barrage of rockets at the Israeli southern city of Ashkelon. Hamas calling it a response to civilians being displaced by relentless Israeli bombing in Gaza. 200 more Gaza targets struck overnight, in addition to the 1,000 targets hit. Israel says the border with Gaza is now fully secured, and all territory overrun by Hamas militants has been retaken. President Biden taking aim at Hamas, calling them terrorists. This is an act of sheer evil. More than 1,000 civilians slaughtered, not just killed, slaughtered in Israel. So in this moment, we must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. The president says 14 Americans have been killed and as many as 20 others suspected to have been taken hostage. The FBI now assisting Israeli experts trying to locate those hostages as their families plead for help. They are responsible to bring the U.S. citizens back home safe and sound. We expect nothing less from the U.S. administration and from President Biden. A huge military presence on the Gaza border as over 300,000 reservists have been called up to duty. A large number of Israeli tanks stand ready. For now, at least, Israeli forces have not entered Gaza on the ground. More than 1,000 people have died in Israel. More than 800 have died in Gaza. The death toll on both sides expected to rise. The president emphasizing a U.S. carrier group is on its way to the Middle East and sternly warning enemies of Israel. Let me say again to any country, any organization, anyone thinking of taking advantage of this situation, I have one word, don't.